Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Salem Volupia. Uh, we haven't made a video for quite a while, I've been away uh, with the Navy, uh, I haven't spent that much time with Jen. Um, but our tenants moved out of our house that we were renting out, so we left the boat up Scotland. We then uh, moved back there to Liverpool while we were doing the house up and getting it ready for sale, so we stuck it on. Uh, for sale with purple bricks and it's sold the next day so uh, we're just waiting for the solicitors to go uh finish the final bit and with there being no chain it should go quite fast so i'm down the boat now for two weeks uh without gem and just going to finish up at uh, the end of the school term in work and then come down uh, or come up to scotland and, and join me and then we'll be back full-time liverboards from there so i've got two crew joining tomorrow uh eugene and john uh so we're going to go out, do a little bit of sailing, but first I've got uh, quite a lot of things to fix. I've been having a little look around the boat. I've, I've moved all, all the stuff back on board. It just took me a, a, probably a, a day and a half. And then I've put stuff in cupboards and stuff. But when Jen gets here, she's just probably going to probably pull it all out and restart it. You know what women are like. So anyway, uh, got, got loads of new stuff. Bought, bought an autopilot system, uh, B&G Linear Arm. I've got a B&G Falcon. Um, I've got a knack free computer, uh, I think that's a Neymar, Neymar 2000 kit and then a compass, an electronic compass kit and then that one there, I bought the NASA, NASA Marine uh, wireless wind doodad up at the top, uh, wind instruments, uh, it wasn't Neymar 2000 so that's just a, a, a connection to make it into the Neymar 2000 and then I should be able to see my wind on the uh, on the Falcon display, so that's going to be fun fitting that over there for the next couple of days, and then I've got got the two lads on, and uh, we're going to go for the sail. Um, it doesn't look like in the forecast it doesn't look like there's much wind at all. For the next seven days, it says the wind doesn't go above five knots, which is uh, not too good, but we'll see how that goes. So I've got quite a lot of things to do over the next day. Uh, couple of days uh, fitting all, all all the new equipment I've got there and then um, for some reason the water pump is not coming uh, not switching on so well it, it comes it powers up you can hear it running but it's not getting any suction so could do a little bit of investigating on that and then I've tried to put some diesel bug air stuff in uh, the fuel the, where you fill your fuel up on the upper deck and uh, having a little bit of a nightmare there, can't get that open. But that'll be a tomorrow job. Uh, going to start tidying up now, uh, pack up the rest of the stuff, and then uh, drive to Oban to do some shopping. Um, so, as I just said before, I've got the, got the two lads there uh, who answered, some of the people who answered to uh, the video that I put out, saying who wants to come sailing with us. These are people from there. Um, I'll go and do a bit of shopping, and then... Uh, wait for them to join tomorrow they're gonna help me with a bit of maintenance and then the next time we've got some wind uh we'll get out to see and uh, try and uh see how far we can go see see what we can um once uh they've left me my friends fletcher's coming uh up from plymouth so he's going to drive up for plymouth he's going to have a couple of days here uh we'll go out sailing if there's any wind and then we'll head uh, he'll head back down, but he's going to drive my camera fan down for me so that when we finish the circumnavigation in Plymouth and I don't have to drive all the way back up here to or get a train back up here to Scotland to drive all the way back down because we are quite far up in the minute. So our plan um, over the next month or two is we're going to go from here, we're going to go up to Oban, we're going to go uh, through through the Mull Straits uh, up towards Tobermory Weather dependent, we'll go up the sky. If it's, if it's rubbish, we won't. We'll just carry on around Mull. Uh, if it's good, we'll go up the sky, uh, around the south part of Sky, maybe over to the outer Hebrides, and then straight down from there to um, Ireland or something along the lines of that. I haven't done the full planning for it yet, but it all depends on the weather. Then we're going to go down uh, the east, east, side, east side of Northern Ireland. Uh, at the minute, because of COVID and Brexit and stuff like that, I don't think I can go to where uh, Southern Ireland. But the rules are changing all the time, and it's still going to be another three, three, four weeks before we get there anyway. So that could change again. But the, the plan at the minute is 
I sailed down the east coast of Northern Ireland down to Belfast and then just, just south of there there's a big lock that we'll go in. Then we'll go from there over to the Isle of Man. Uh, sail around the Isle of Man and then we'll head over to North Wales. Uh, would have liked to have gone and done the east coast of South Ireland, uh, Southern Ireland and then go around to Cork and then a place called Kinsale where I've been when I was uh, doing uh, Cork week with the Navy we were doing an, uh, some offshore racing and so we stopped, we ended up stopping there it's absolutely gorgeous but um, it's just the way it is at the minute with Covid and stuff so we'll go to Wales uh, down, down the Welsh coast and then we'll go over to the Isles of Scilly uh, depending on how much time we've got left we might spend a week or two in the Isles of Scilly absolutely gorgeous there uh, obviously all weather dependent um, we'll go Penzance, Falmouth, Foy and then finish in Plymouth but um, the quite scary thing is at the minute is Plymouth. I've been on a waiting list for uh, six, seven months to get a, a berth. I've been waiting since uh, before Christmas to get uh, a berth in Plymouth. So I know there's probably like what's five, six marinas there and all of them are full for the winter at the minute. Um, I can't, can't understand why I'm guessing it's because people have not gone abroad in the boats and stuff like that. But... Uh, hopefully things change. Uh, if I had my preference, I'd like to go into Sutton Harbour. Uh, that's probably the best one to, to winter in. And then uh, that'll be the end of our circumnavigation. I'll start my uh, new posting in the Navy and then uh, I'll ju we'll just go now for weekend sails and live living on the boat in, in Plymouth for the time. Uh, then I've got two and a half years left in the Navy and then once I've uh, retired, that'll be us setting off, uh, possibly come back up here to explore more of the northern, uh, northern part of Scotland, go into the Baltic Sea, go up to Norway, winter then again back in the UK and then we'll go uh, to the Med. So I prefer to do like uh, Scotland and Norway and the Baltic Sea before I go to the Med because it's got a feeling once you go to the Med you're not, not going to leave if Brexit all sorts itself out. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Ta-da!